Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right, pause it. Try it out. Okay, so what does it say? It says find the value of the angle labeled at point D. So we're trying to find this angle here. I thought that the perhaps the nat most natural way to, to deal with this, this is a question based on a triangle, a chapter with triangles, is to try and get a triangle somewhere. And in this case, I thought it made sense to just draw a segment between A and B. And then what that allows me to do is to see that there are essentially two triangles here. And I'm just going to highlight them, then I'll clear it off. The first triangle would be here, and the second triangle would be here. And I think perhaps the, the most efficient way to deal with this is to first find the length of AB using our bigger triangle. So to find this length here. Then that is the same length in the smaller triangle here. And we can use the law of cosines to find the angle D. So we're using the law of cosines two times. First to find the side length AB, and then, so that's our first goal, to find that, and then to find angle D. Let's try it out. So the law of cosines here, we've got, what do we have? We have this angle C, and we're trying to find this side C, which is, usually side C is the one across from angle C. It's how we label these things. So little C squared, that's the side length squared, equals A squared plus B squared. A squared is right here. A is right there and B is right there. So uh, 4.86 squared plus 4.26 squared minus twice 4.86 times 4.26 times the cosine of 64.34 degrees. And in this case, since we're actually applying the law of cosines twice, I'm not going to solve for C. I'm going to leave it at C squared. And I think you'll see why in the next step. So let's do this. We've got 4.86. I keep typing L. 4.86 square button. Okay. Plus 4.26 square button. Boom. Minus twice 4.86 times 4.26 times the cosine of 64.34. There it is. So C squared is 23.836. Now, I'm going to write my notes 23.8366. But I encourage you to always use the exact value. And remember, you can press the STO button. I'm going to store this answer so I can use it later. I'll press alpha A. I'll store it as variable. No, no, I'll, I'll be fancy. I'll store it, I'll store it as um, C, right? Okay, enter. Now it's saved. And what that will allow me to do is now we know that the we can find the length of C. And let's just find it. Why not? Um, so the square root of this number, which I, I realize now might be confusing. I called it C is 4.88. So this is about, let's just get that as a reference, 4.88. But there is no need to find that because in the next calculation, we're trying to find this angle for this triangle. And call that angle D. And just so you can see it, let's, um, let's refer to it as angle C1. No, it doesn't help. Never mind. Okay, so D, so the, the traditional setup of the law of cosines is something like this. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times the cosine of angle A. Now, we're dealing with the cosine of angle D, okay? And the other, the B and the C essentially refer to the two sides that surround the angle that you're looking at, right? In other words, not the side across the angle. We have the side across the angle, which is always represented here. And the variable itself doesn't really matter. So I'll just say this is uh, C squared is what goes in this spot. And now I'm referring now to this diagram. And that's going to equal the other two sides squared and added. So 2.97 squared plus 2.23 squared minus twice the product of those sides. Move this over. Uh, cosine of 2.97 times 2.23 times the cosine of some angle D. So I didn't write in the value of this because it's a long decimal. I don't want to deal with that. 
but I'm just leaving it as that variable, so now I can move things around. I'm trying to solve for the cosine of d. How am I going to do that? I'm going to subtract these two terms and then divide by this thing here. So let's do that. So we get c squared minus 2.97 squared minus 2.23 squared. Again, I just subtracted those over. And then I'm going to divide all of that by this thing right here. Negative 2, don't forget that negative, times 2.97 times 2.23, and that is the cosine of d. Okay, so now we've got a calculator, let's use it. So c squared, well I've got c in here, I've got, I'm gonna go, there's c. Now this is, um, I realize I'm confusing myself. On the calculator I called the variable c, but that's actually c squared, right? I should have said the square root of, anyway. So I, I apologize, that's, that c on the calculator is really the c squared value. We're going to subtract 2.97 squared. Oops, calculator's crashing. We can do this. Do, 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 do. Okay. Alpha C. That's the C squared. Minus 2.97 squared. Minus 2.23 squared. Boom. That's our numerator. Then divide it by negative 2 times 2.97 times 2.23. Boom. The cosine of d is that value, but we want to find the inverse cosine. We want to find what the angle is, so the arc cosine essentially. So we do second cosine of that value. So I press second and then the negative button pulls that value and we get our answer is about 139 degrees and that's angle d. So let's say, well that d is 139 degrees approximately. All right, I hope that helped.